Being in such short supply, one of the questions we've heard asked again and again is why can't the vaccine manufacturers make more doses more quickly? Well, the answer is complicated, but our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with an example of just one of the many limiting factors. Doc? Yeah, Kim, you know, we've seen how companies that make certain things during the pandemic have struggled to meet the intense demand, often because a key ingredient was in short supply. Well, vaccine manufacturers are also struggling with those issues on a much more complex level, as well as a microscopic one. This lab is making lipid nanoparticles. The genetic code in mRNA vaccines is transported into human cells using these little fat bubbles. Around one thousandth of the width of a single human hair, they're incredibly small, critical to the COVID vaccine rollout, and there aren't nearly enough of them. Aquitas Therapeutics is one of the biotech firms making the lipid component in the Pfizer vaccine. They're also supporting CureVac and the Imperial College London, who each have vaccine candidates in the pipeline, but they can't make enough by themselves. We don't try and do it all ourselves. We try to enable others around the globe um, to be able to contribute to this, to this effort. Whenever we reach out to, to other companies, uh, to ask them whether they could support uh, manufacturing of the lipid components, for example, as soon as they hear it's to support a COVID-19 vaccine, you know, they're completely engaged. Many powerful alliances are being forged in the private sector to boost manufacturing capacity, but there are calls for more cooperation at the government level. We need public agencies, so governments nationally or regionally, they have to come together and ask the question, if I have scarce capacity for something, how do I ensure that it remains coordinated between multiple vaccine manufacturers? Now, some limiting factors are easier to solve. The Biden administration recently announced it would use the Defense Production Act to give Pfizer priority access to filling pumps and filtration units to allow Pfizer to get the vaccine into vials and ultimately into arms more quickly. Frank, could the government ask other drug companies to make a competitor's vaccine? Interesting question, Kim. Yeah, you know, technically, yes, but that's not a quick or simple process by any stretch. Quality control, that's a huge issue, and there are, frankly, a lot of proprietary concerns as well. Most experts basically agree that helping the vaccine companies find ways to boost their own manufacturing is really the better course of action. Sure, sure. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.